What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Ottawa Senators and uh, picking up where we left off disappointing season we made the playoffs and we come back and don't make the playoffs we need a retool and uh, we might be getting a lot done during this draft that doesn't just include drafting players so well, what does that mean I don't know you're just gonna have to keep watching see where it leads we got the 14th overall pick. It's not too bad. Not great, but it's not too bad. So uh, let's see what uh, this draft has in store for us. So we did actually get quite a few medium elites scouted in a lot of different places. Now, this guy might be worth taking with that 14th. Two-way forward goal score. You never know. Similar to Theo Fleury. I like that. Um, he's not going to start tremendous, uh, off tremendous overall, but definitely want to keep an eye on him. With that 14th pick, uh, just pretty much pin all these guys because I've I have been a while since I've had this many medium elite scouted in one draft, like who aren't in the tops. So that's pretty solid. Unfortunately, didn't get any other low elites. I tried to get a few more, but not meant to be. But with that many medium elites, that shouldn't be much of a problem. So we're gonna try to get as many of those as possible, essentially. And restock on trade value because any trades I'm going to make for any big time players, you're going to have to overextend and make it more realistic, it as as realistic as you can, essentially. So that's where we're at right now. That's I think that's all we're going to pin here. Is uh I think that's like nine that we have pinned, or eight. Uh, I think that's nine. That would be nine. So that's as many picks as we're allowed to have. I don't know if that's as many picks as we do have. We shall see about that. But that's who we're keeping an eye on here. And again, we don't have to take all of them. We'll get as many and the ones that maybe fit the best. But for those medium elites, you probably want to get all of them. So Ilya Kovalchuk retires at age 42. Pretty solid career. 666 assists. He'll drink to that. Um, Anze Kopitar, 1204 career points. Almost 1,400 games uh, games played. Retires at age 37. Yeah, he was about done. Vanek retires age 41. Yeah, he was definitely done. Not quite 1,000 points in his career. What? 36. Oh, he could have played. Look at the season he had. Cooch would keep playing. My goodness. Yeah, he'd keep playing. Pretty uh, interesting right there. But what can you do? Uh, P.K. Subban, uh, again, really could have kept playing. <laughs> wow. Age 36 only, and I mean, he ended up a bad year in minus-wise, but dude. Bobby Ryan, no one cur. A uh, little, no, he was done. Henrique, yeah, I'd say he was about done. Broussard as well. Okay, at least these ones are making sense. Yeah, Felino should be done. Niskanen. <laughs> yeah. McDonough, though, again, could have definitely played. Another one, two years, easy. I'm just looking for anything out of the ordinary. Oh, he was done. All right, well, oh, let's see about Martin. Okay, well, he dropped off. Jalmerson, though. No, actually, he dropped off. Okay. Well, there you have it. There's. We'll keep growing here. I'm not going to take a close look at anyone, but it's always interesting when those years get later. Some players retire at interesting times. Let's see about goaltenders. Tuka Rask finally retires. Not finally. Hold on. There's. Oh, maybe they did. No. Yeah, they must have already retired. I think I'm thinking of the Detroit series where. Anyway. Um, Tuka Rask. Wonderful career. Absolutely stellar career. 86 shutouts. And look, he only has. Dude, he only had 62 more games played than Quick. But he had 14 more shutouts. And people in Boston are saying to trade this guy. He doesn't get it done. Get out of here. Jonathan Quick, great career for him as well. Yeah, he was definitely done. Two grass, definitely done. Cam Talbot, not too bad numbers considering. That I think he's pretty shit. I guess it was that one year. Yeah, I only played 302 games played. So it was that one good year he had. <laughs> uh, Hutton, Deller, and there you have it. I'm pretty sure all the goalies will make sense to retire. It's very rare that they retire at, like, weird times. <gasps> Tukarski. <laughs> all right. So there we go. There's the retirements. Okay. Draft time. Almost. 
Got to check the... I already have the draft settings on. We got to check the awards here. Looks like the Sucks won the cup. Ugh. Good for you. Uh, press. <laughs> Did they get kicked out in the first round? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> presence what i gotta see it now just for the memes i got i'm gonna have to check that okay patty kane got the art ross as well as the heart dumbo with the norris dennis sank yeah oh dennis and with that's the lady bing though dennis Anko got the lady bing jarvis got that calder gibby with the con Smythe and the vesna and the william m jennings master into harima barkov with the selkie I can't remember. It's been a while. I've been been pretty damn sick, guys. So I apologize. And you might still hear it in my voice a bit, but yeah, I was like just sleeping. Two years running for Denisenko, and people saying that's who we should trade for. So if we're going for a guy like that, two-time Maurice Richard winner. It's gonna take a bit of a king's ransom, and I'm if I'm gonna go for that, I'm gonna make it a king's ransom to get that guy, despite you know what his value may or may not be. My goodness, the goals speak for themselves. We need someone like that, especially to pair with Lafreniere. We're going to give him a bridge on Lafreniere. Anyway, before we, uh, I want to see, I want to see where Lightning went. Uh, uh, oh, they fucking did it. They lost in the first round. <laughs> they didn't get swept. They didn't lose in the first round. Sharks lost in the second round to the Ducks. They beat Vancouver, though, in, in a game seven. Surprise, surprise. All right, well, good for the Ducks, I guess. Looks like the East wasn't super strong, man. Ducks swarmed over them. St. Louis took them to seven. Wow, St. Louis was really strong. That must have been a crazy good series. One of those where, like, the uh, conference finals is actually better than the Cup. All right, well... There you have it. Tampa Bay Lightning, President's Trophy winners, knocked out in the first round. Good to see that uh, some things never change. All right, well, entry draft is about to start. This is where things get interesting. So let's get into it. We got that 14th pick. We know what we're going to do, but let's, make, let's try to make some waves here. Two-time Norris Trophy winner. We need a pure goal scorer. Warrell is not really panning out to be that pure, pure goal scorer. And I've had Wallstrom a few times. I've never taken Denisenko. I've tried to fix him a few times, but he seems... What? What? Okay. <laughs> I must have passed him once. That felt like a lot of clicks right there to get there. There he is. Yep. He's going to be tough. Oh, and because I have the settings turned on, we, got to, we get to see what everyone is. Well, ooh. He is extended for two years at that price. Not too bad. So, they obviously don't want to give him up. Why would you? Why would you want to give a guy like this up? Now, he could play left or right side. We could, you know, screw around with that see what it does. He's built on stat growth, though. So, if he starts having bad years, man, that's not good for us. But the extension isn't horrible. So, you're going for a guy like this. It's taking Kachuk. That's taking Galchenyuk. Period. At least. That's at least what it's taking. They would have too many skaters. We'd have to take someone back. No problem. And I'm probably going to throw something else in there to sweeten it up. Just to make... What am I doing? Player. Now, is there anyone I could use? Depth or something like that. Sign for a year. Probably not. Uh, Heponiemo. Amadio. No, it doesn't look like it. Heponiemo. Mm. Really good face-offs. Heponiemi. What did I say? Heponiemo? <laughs> uh, not extended. I mean, maybe? I don't know what his defense is. That's the issue. But damn, those face-offs are really nice to look at. Again, he'd just be depth, so... It's really not a big deal. I don't even have to. Let's just take some own garbage back. It's... Oh, they'd be over the cap. Interesting. Yikes. Way over the cap. Hold on. Can we make this work then? Uh, I don't know. Not really. Not. They don't have any like outrageous dumb... Co oh, they do want to get rid of Dadanoff, but... 
mm, I don't know if I want to take on that salary just to make a trade go through. We could retain. We are actually in a decent position to retain. It's one year. Ooh, it's a lot. I don't even know if retaining will get it down enough, though. That's a thing. I'd retain on Galchenyuk. I don't think that'll be enough. Oh, they have too many skills. What happened? How'd that guy get to... Did I take that guy out? How'd that happen? I don't remember taking him out, but maybe I did when I was... Doing this thingy. Who was I? This guy, Korolev. Yeah, they'd be over the cap. It's cap still. Still over the cap. We couldn't really. Unless I retain on Kachuk too. It is only for one year. But the thing is, we still have to sign Lafreniere to a bridge. And that bridge is still going to be expensive. Now, shipping off Latang will make it easier. But the fact of the matter is, we still. And we, we can't. Oh, man. Now, this would work, theoretically. This is fucking crazy, though. Yeah, that would work, in theory. That's <laughs> 7 mil from retaining. So, we got to think about contracts here. We will get, be getting rid of Malcolm Subban's contract. That's minus 5. The bridge on Lafreniere should not be anything over 10 mil, if it's bridge. And we can get, hopefully, yeah, there's no guarantee, but we can bury Latang's contract if necessary. We can send him down to the AHL if absolutely necessary. No, I don't think people are going to want that contract. We can retain on it. It might get us a bit closer, but that's the max we can retain. Pedestrum going to need a deal. I did not, I did extend him. Not for a whole lot. Tyrell is on a great extension, really affordable for us. But we also have McAvoy in here. I know some people said maybe to trade him, but we'll see. Subban, we're getting rid of that four mil. That's off the books. And we're bringing up uh, Iginla on a bit of a contract. So we're still spending almost 10 mil on goalies. This is going to be tight. Exceedingly tight. Also have Svensson coming up. Who honestly might be ready? Uh, we'll start him. We can always trade a Ginla for something. Hmm. I don't know if I want to take a step back year. Like, I'm thinking we get rid of Samsonov's contract then at some point and have a step back year of, like, running Iginla as a starter and Svensson as a backup. I don't know that I want to do that. Because that's an insane step back. But I, I have, I, I think we could free up the necessary cap. Honestly, we're we're signing the young center, and he's gonna only take up an entry level. A lot of our guys are on affordable contracts who we're using. Shabbat's on a great deal. Odell's on a great deal. Lafreniere will need to be signed. Warrell Marner, debatable. But because of what we'd be saving on Denisenko for at least this year, makes it really good. Well, we got a half. Uh, can I throw Latang into this? No, I can't. Obviously, <laughs> what am I thinking? I just got him under the cap. We'll have to try to throw Latang into a deal. Well, let's see. You know what? I got. I got to sweeten the pot still. I do. I, I have to sweeten the pot. This it's. I know it's already art crazy, but I feel like you got to sweeten the pot. So we're gonna throw in this elite goalie prospect. It's a lot. I understand that, but from a real life perspective, it's a goalie prospect. He could be good. He could be solid. Galchenyuk, Kachuk, both solid players. But this is a two-time Maurice Richard winner. So that's what we're doing. Yep, absolute no-brainer. But I feel like that m reflects his what his value would kind of be. And compared to what Galchanuk and Kachuk have sort of done. Now, yes, it does suck trading Kachuk. But the fact is, he didn't do a whole lot. And we basically have full... We basically uh, we, we already replaced him in the aggregate with this trade. And I'll show you what I mean. We have that kid coming up. I don't know where he is. 
McElhaney. He's already an 83. He's going to get a number. He probably will be ready for second line center, which is perfect. That's what we need him for. Sign him to an entry level. We ha we can, we have three years of entry level with this guy where we could push for a cup heavily. Norris and probably Marner on that second line. Norris just shot, 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 and McElhaney, Marner to feed him. And Marner can get a few goals. He could be the hybrid production guy. Well, we'll see what happens with McElhaney. Because uh, he could be hybrid. He do You can't really say that's a lot of shots because juniors is always a little bit different. But my goodness, look at that power play production. He's solid. He's, he's a minus one with 96 points. Anyway, so that's said and done. Now what we need to do is try to... My, I'm going to try to get rid of Latang's contract now before any more drops happen. I don't know if it'll be possible. We may have to retain. But if we can give it up, anyone... Ooh, Oilers won. They're champion team. They want Latang. Hold on. What, what's our pick situation? I feel like we only have eight, but we could have nine. We only have eight. We can grab one more pick. I'll take anything at this point. I just want this contract off the books. Unfortunately, they don't have a freaking three. I don't No, There's no way I get a two. Damn. Who else? I don't think that this is. I'll take like that three. Yeah, they'd be over the cap. We have to find. Okay, here we go. Beauty rebuilder, but they want him. What? Huh? Okay. Now, obviously, I can't get a three or I can't get a two from a team like this, but I can get a three, maybe two threes. Maybe. Just a bit low. Sweetener. We got some sweeteners. I know we got a sweetener. Let's go. Uh-oh. Maybe we don't. No, we have... Ow! <gasps> Fuck, only low elites. Do we have a really, really shit low elite? I wouldn't mind chucking one in. 64-20. Could argue he's pretty shit. Compared to everyone else, yeah. Now, we could have a tremendous growth year, but we are, in fact, going to get multiple medium elites from this draft, most likely. Winger, playmaker, he's built pretty well, but slow on the growth. Now, that could honestly get us better. I'm going to try. I don't think I get the second, but I'll try. Zero chance this goes through, I feel like. Maybe. We'll see. No, they're not really interested. You know what? I can live without the set, the uh, pick from next year, but I'd love another second because there's a lot of guys we had our eye on. So I'll just take a second for these two guys. Whoa. Huh. They really don't want to give up that second. Okay. Let's just get the contract off the books. Let's just get that contract off the books. A four from next year. I'm fine with it. I don't really care. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Fuck. <laughs> All that work for them to tell me what I feared they may tell me anyway. Retaining on this would still give us a lot of retention. But, so right now we have 12 mil. If we retain, it's it'll be close. But it's not taking off Subban's contract, I don't think. It's still doing for this year, so we might be able to retain retain on Latang. I don't think if I just take the third, they accept it. No, they really don't want to take on that salary. I kind of have to retain because every team's going to tell me this no matter what. I'm pretty sure. I think every team's going to tell me this. All right. How much do I have to retain? I don't want to retain full. If I can retain like what? Who else is retained? We have two guys retained. This is weird. I When did I retain on someone else? I'm pretty sure I didn't. I'm trying to think at some other point who I who I could have retained on. Huh. Okay, I must have and forgot. That kind of sucks. So pretty much not going to be able to trade this guy, get him off the books, unless it's for Jack Squat. <laughs> Which I will take Jack Squat. I really will. I don't care. Just get him off the books if we can. Oh my god. 
I don't care. I really don't. I, I don't I don't need a return. There's so much good shit in this draft. I don't know if this is going to work at all. And I don't get why a team like this, who wants the guy, wouldn't take on the cap. Because this just helps him get to the freaking cap floor. You're not going to turn around. Oh my god. You're not going to turn around and be a great team all of a sudden. I don't think this is going through at all. And I just can't retain. Unless skipping a year will allow me to retain. But I don't think that'll be possible. Alright, like I said, anything. Anything just to get him off my books. I don't think it makes sense. Fuck you. <laughs> so we might have to wait and hope that retention thing comes off or buy him out or bury him. It's not the end of the world. It does make our life a, a bit more difficult. That's how I was hoping. I don't know. I, I, I'm honestly still trying to figure out who the hell I have retention on. And I can't check from here. But whatever. It's, again, not the biggest of deals. does kind of suck. But whatever. Fine. We'll have to leave that for now. Because there's just not a way to get that done. My goodness. Steal right there. Pretty good uh, top five so far. We haven't seen any of it yet. But that's a pretty good top five. Colorado, what do you get? 79 overall center playmaker. Good for you. We have the 14th pick. Let's just get up to our pick here. And start picking. So nothing else crazy went in that top 10. But that's a really good starting overall for a top 6 player. Two-way forward. Going to be a solid guy. So we got that 14th overall pick. We're going straight to our pins here. Where is he? Ah, I knew you were here. Alright, this guy. I like him. Our scout has him ranked at 16, projected to go 21. We're going to take him here. Because, yes. Why not? He looks good. Asher Woodworth. Doesn't have any negative traits. I like it. Let's grab him. See what this guy's going to be for us. 64 overall. Left wing 2A forward, likely. So there we go. Now up to the next. Right into the second round. 45th. Now, we might miss a guy or two. That's, again, not the biggest of deals. We're just going to take everything that we can. I don't think we will. No, I'm pretty sure we won't. Now we can grab this guy. He's a low lead, but he's... Mm, this guy's listed really... Ooh, my... Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. whoa, No. Ah, he's weak on... No, it doesn't matter if he's weak on face-offs. It's another power forward. So we could have one of those. Ugh. I hate when it says that. I hate when it says similar to Milan Lucic. Look at that. He's facing D competition. He only had 41 points. Trade value. <laughs> Essentially, this is trade value if we grab it. Yeah, this is pure trade value. Fine. Hudson Henry. Lol. 71 overall. I'm facing D competition and he only got 41 points in 61 games played. <laughs> Let's hope he was just on an absolute shit team. But goodness gracious. That's still that's a steal of a pick right there. I mean, there's a 74 overall low elite part for it. Pretty damn good. Ours is medium, though. So, wow. Tons of trade value. Tons and tons. So, we'll miss out on that low elite. I'm not trading up for anything or, any, or uh, stuff like that. I'm just picking everything in place. Now, we didn't get an extra pick. I could have just done that, but there's so much freaking value here that it doesn't matter. Right here, another one. Another one. Free medium elite. Our scouts did work this year. Leadership, work ethic, reach. Not a good skater. Give me a Joe Pavelski. David Bentley. 53 overall medium elite. I believe he was 17, 18, though. Yeah, he was 18, so still pretty good. Again, it's another medium elite for free. How can you argue with that? Next up on the docket is our fourth round pick at 107 overall. Now, I believe we did miss out on one. Oh, wow. Never mind. <laughs> we didn't. Again, I'm not trying to maneuver to get in place for these guys. I'm just picking what I can. Now, we will miss out on the grinder. Not the biggest deals. Ooh, injury prone. Maybe we won't miss out on the grinder again. You know what? Injury prone, but... I'm 
another leader. I mean, yeah, he's not going to be offensively consistent. He's a goddamn... Oh, my God. <laughs> One point in 28 games played in C-minus competition. Eee. This guy was at least in A competition. Fucking... I'll get, I'll get him instead. I think he's still going to be cooler. 59 overall. He was 19, too, wasn't he? Yep. <laughs> oh, well. I kind of want to see what that other guy's going to be now. Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. I want to see what he's going to be. Jamal. Grinder Elite. Where you at? Where they at? I think he was close enough to be able to tell from here. Wasn't he like... Where is he? Come on. I'm going to keep doing this until he pop... There he is. 48 overall. Johnny Gaudreau. Jerome Gaudreau. 48 overall. Grinder. All right. Next, I think we have... Okay, never mind. I guess we have two fives. Uh-oh. That act might mix the goalie. But there's a potential one right there if we did, in fact. Uh, no, we didn't. But I think we missed out on one more. So, 138. How many picks do we have left? I can take a blind pick. I think. If I'm lined up for that correctly. And we might be able to get maybe something else crazy out of this. Oh, my God. Four more picks. Oh, did we did we acquire any pick? Oh. Have I only picked four guys? Maybe. Okay, I feel like I picked five, but all right, we have four picks left. We have the one thirty-eight and the one eighty-six. Now we can't take a blind pick here if we want to get that tendy. I don't think, at least we have. Yeah, no. Oh wait, that's not him. Herp to the duh. rip. So we can't. But this guy's super late. Let's just pick him now. Screw it. <laughs> Four to seven overall again. Maybe just trade value. That's kind of what we're looking for at this point. We need to build this damn team up. So these two picks will be blind picks. Because this guy's not coming till there. The next blind. Oh, an enforcer into defenseman. God damn it. Got to be forwards, man. Goalie? Probably. Dane Wyman. That's probably our best chance for something special right here. No. French starter. Oh, well. So, dose more picks here. Last pick of this round. We're going to grab. And let me double check. I'm pretty sure we don't... I've, I'm not mathing that hard to the seventh round, but I'm pretty sure it's not above 236. No, it's 200 on the dot so let's see blind pick could be an elite could be can only be a medium top six so that's giving me more uh there is yeah there is a medium top nine bottom sixes so he could just be a medium top six and if he is an OFD that's pretty waste as for lows I'm not seeing any low top nine. Uh, okay, spoke. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> the fact that he's 19 doesn't seem like he'll he'd be built like a uh, an elite though. Could be wrong. Hmm. All right, let's swing for the fences because we've there has been a lot of medium elites in this draft. Let's swing swing for the fences here. I hate that. Come on, come on, come on. Big double, big money, big money. No way. Hey, you know what? That's not bad. It's a, it's a medium top four, which at a sixth round last pick, that's actually really good. Now he was 19 though, wasn't he? Yeah, so it's not as good, but still, solid value. It's really all you can ask for here. Last pick of the draft, 200th overall. We will get our last pin. Because why not? He's 19. Might actually drop to, uh, my goodness. Offensive instincts, defense, zone play, passing ability, zero weaknesses. This guy is an absolute gem, but I don't think he's going to be in really good overall. So at age 19, he could be almost 20. 60, holy, sh that's higher than I thought. I thought it was going to be like low 60s, but Jesus, 
65 overall. What a seventh round pick right there. That's actually insane. Yeah, Jaden Pedersen. Good stuff. Now, I have a feeling he's going to be very close to age 20 coming in at that overall, but I could be wrong. He could be a fresh 19. So, phew, there's our draft. <laughs> a lot done. A, a blockbuster trade. Medium elites up the wazoo. But the fact of the matter is, let me count. Yeah, I did only have eight picks. I just, you know, apparently I thought I picked one more than I did. Um, but the fact is, we got to start performing. And we've, we're making moves to try to do that. A lot of these guys that we picked, we didn't necessarily pick them with having in mind, oh, we see this guy in this place in the future. Some of these were just like, this guy's valuable. Like, he has value. Could get us something that we could use for, you know... For now, not like pure rental, but like, you know, we need we need to be a good team. Now we got Denisenko, pure fucking goal scorer. <laughs> That's a lot of guys. I might just want to keep my scout team for how well they did this last year. And all these guys are good enough. Besides the NHL Central. Oh, that's yeah, it's NHL. Fuck that. I'm keeping all of them. I don't want to be bothered this year. My scouts did incredible. Let's let's reward them. With no one getting released or fired. It also saved me time in the offseason. Two birds with one stone could fulfill my lazy calling. And at the same time, reward AI people. Because their feelings matter too. AI lives matter, guys. EAAI. EAAI. Alright, alright. You last one. Happy birthday. So there we go. Getting all those guys back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's going to accept. Vyacheslav Lakshonov. All right. Here we go. Contracts. Hi there, Lafreniere. We're going to qualify you. Because we literally... It says we only have two mil. Maybe it was counting all that. It shouldn't have been. If I release him, I should get money back. If I don't, then we're in trouble. Yeah, we're in a bit of trouble. Not a big deal, though. Because we can, we'll manage to make this work, no problem. Again, burying, whatever. Whatever will work. So... Kozlov and Isimov, but these guys might have to be tendered. Now, Kozlov was the guy who was pretty trash. I want to see if someone else wants to sign him. Hyman is a luxury we can pretty much no longer afford. So, unfortunately, it was counting that, but the uh, Suban contract... However, we will still be able to make this happen. Again, I know some people were said trade McAvoy. That's a movable contract. We might, you know, that might be an option, honestly. A lot of these guys might be options. If they can't really play on the team, you know, they don't really have a spot. They can't really get here. You know, AHL guys, they're, they pretty much got to be dropped. This guy needs an entry level, so we can at least take care of a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to take care of a lot of the kind of entry level stuff for the AHL guys who don't want to weigh deals. They're gone. This guy does. I have a feeling that's BS, though. I'll try it. Sturts as well. Does say two-way. I feel like they're going to decline that, though. That happens sometimes. Okay, if I can get a lot of these guys. Latavari, this guy really hasn't panned out. Is he is he good to be like a two-way? Yeah, yeah, he does have good offensive stats. He could probably do decently on the AHL squad. Now these guys are all entries, so I don't have to worry about that.
But yes, we are in a little bit of trouble cap wise, but it will work. Trust me. I, I, I have a very, I have a, I have a plan to make this work. This guy's gone. The hell even happened to him? Did nothing. Look at all the medium elites we got. Ugh, I'll sign him anyway. Now some of these guys will get dropped. And we will be able to free up space, don't worry. Latang, not maybe it's it's outstandingly movable, but buryable. And there's plenty of other guys here who we could pick and choose from. But overall, we have really good contracts. Besides a few bigger ones. But again, McAvoy could be moved, honestly. Like he didn't have a tremendous year with us. And unless like we might have to have like a situation Lafreniere holds out for a while to trade him, or we just fucking trade the guy immediately. And kinda stack on our other players. It does suck after one year, but that might be what's necessary to make the required space. Again, we're gonna try our best to get rid of Latang, obviously. But if that doesn't work, which I don't think it will, and we can't retain on another guy. Which again, not a big deal. It did suck retaining on Kachuk and uh, Galchenik, but long term, uh, this this is gonna work. Trust me. This is I. Yeah, I, I put a lot of thought into this, and if all we need to basically do is kind of get around a year, this year, essentially. Hold on, where is uh, McElhaney? I didn't sign that guy. There he is. So entry level for him. And a few of these other guys, Lahua, listed as a minor top two now. If he wants a two-way deal, he does not. I think he's going to have to go. So bye-bye. Uh, Hyman, he's just going to have to go. That's honestly just a guy I can't really afford anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What? That worried me because all of a sudden McElhaney disappeared. Thank God. Okay, put him down here with the uh, people being offered. That scared me for a second. I thought I accidentally like released him. That would have fucking sucked. Jaros again, just something we we a luxury we can't afford. Hyman, same kind of deal. Pocket, pretty much same thing. All gone. Now we got some of these guys. Lowe's probably gonna want a long uh yeah, he wants a one way, so we're gonna have to tender him for now. Qualify him. Packard. Grinder. Not outstanding. If he doesn't want a two-way, he's getting tendered and likely traded. He does want a two-way. So we can get him. Anisimov. Now this one's a tough one. I'll probably tender him because I did really like him on that fourth line. Third slash four. I could probably just release this guy. Don't have to trade all of them who I'm going to tender. Kozhenov, he's not built well to, I'm just releasing this one. Not even worth tendering. And one more Nisimov, I'm gonna have to tender him because I would like to see if I'd be able to use him. So, tough position, yes. Impossible, no, far from it. There is a lot of maneuvering to be done here. I'm gonna show Cal Dubas how it's done, Harper rejected. Yeah, I figured some of these guys, although that was Sturtz, and it's actually seemed like those AHL guys actually did want those contracts. Nice. Those two-way deals, that helps us a lot. That gives us depth in our AHL. Now, we did have one guy refuse. And who was that? Uh, it was Harper. And he was on a two-way. I could crank it up if I really want him. Let's take a look. Let's go in the system here. Um... Havlid, I honestly might keep in the AHL because this guy's really, really built poorly. Like, he's not built well, really at all. Look at his puck, puck skills. 
then look at everything else. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. Ooh. Oh, hold on. What, what'd you do? You're, <laughs> he, but he's, he's gotta be a fighter. You, yeah, that, fuck that guy. <laughs> anyway, AHL, 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 AHL. That's five. That's only five. So Harper would make six. That would be a minimum. So yeah, I kind of need that guy in a two-way. Would you sign for that? Jamon. Yeah, okay. So I believe that's it. Now obviously we're not going to be doing too much in free agency. All besides trying to make some more moves to free up any cap that we can. We're going to think of expendable assets here. Now, people might still want to see McAvoy moved out. He really didn't work out next year. Will he rebound this year? That's something we have to ask because he's a 90 overall, but he is being paid 10 mil. Being paid 10 mil. Marner, we might be able to get him for less next year. We might be able to swing that. So that's a good thing to look at. We have Dennis, Dennis Senko right now for a bargain. But we need to get Lafreniere. That's the one thing we need right now. Josh Norris, on the other hand, this might be his last year. He, if he has another great goal scoring year, I mean, he's probably going to want quite a bit more. So we've got to find ways to shed cap. I mean, there's a couple easy ways. You know, McAvoy, Latang, you can bury it, but it, it'll only save you so much. Not enough likely to get Lafreniere signed. And you actually have to have the cap kind of freed up to even do that. So, we got to think loose ends here. I'd, I'd be easily willing to trade McAvoy because we have so many good defensemen and more coming up. I'll just show you. And honestly, I'd maybe even be willing to trade again, let us shed two mil. Svensson likely going to be ready? And again, Lafreniere may not start the season, but he will be he will be on this team easy. I know even some people said to trade him. We can still do that. He's tendered. I mean, we can even wait and see how this team does, how we can build this team without him. But we did make the trade with him on the team in mind. Anyway, I was supposed to check defenseman here. Like, there's six right there. Plus this go of guy, plus Twoman in. It's a lot of guys. That's three, four, five. Oh, I did I count Havilah? I didn't want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight dudes who are capable. Everyone else on really good contracts. I would love to trade Latang, but it's highly unlikely we get rid of his contract. Yeah, I can retain on it, but again, if if it'll it'll let me. I don't know if the retention from the other year. Salaries retained. It shows me three there. I I don't know who else I'm retaining on, though. It says three people, but I can't remember who the fuck the other one was on. Huh. Oh, well. Anyway, and it's only for this year. We're going to have a crap ton of money come next year. Which is part of the reason I didn't want to have to move McAvoy, because it'll, it would kind of, like, get right in the end. Anyway, but it will be a struggle. However... Far from impossible, and we could easily do that, do it, and our team is going to look fantastic for this coming year. Anyway, we are done with con. I did not press to the left right there, game. You are lying. We are done with contracts. We don't really even need to see what's in free agency at all, but I guess we'll do it because we're not going to be signing anyone here. I mean, we might at some point, but whatever. Let's turn off those draft settings, because I will forget if I don't turn them off now. Like, it's not a big deal. We're not really going to be going for signing anyone, but I will forget if I just leave them on. All right, so for agency pool, you guys can take a look at it. I'm sure some of you are interested in seeing who's uh, hitting the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't count. Four people interested in dry sidle already. Like, he wants 12 mil in the friggin' open market. Like I said, 10 mil. Less than 10 mil, easily. Now, because he's an RFA now, it's going to be a bit more difficult. But as it progresses and progresses and progresses, 
I don't think any team is going to freaking try to steal him away from us. It is possible, though. That's the flip side. So if we can take care of this sooner rather than later, we're going to want to. Where's the tenders at? He's going to be in here, isn't he? Or is he not? Come on now. He is going to be in here. Now, it, we might not be able to do the, the decrease on him, but we go down in years. We might be able to at the same time. We'll see, but we can get him signed for a bridge at the very least. But may cost us McAvoy. Anyway, so that's about it, guys. We're in a bit of a tricky situation, but it's nothing that we can't come out of and be a much better team. And that's the goal here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.